from the wonderful world of sports, we bring you Home Run Derby, where each week the leading home run hitters of the major leagues will compete in a home run hitting contest. You'll meet such stars as Duke Snyder, Eddie Matthews, Rocky Calavito, Ernie Banks, Mickey Mantle, Henry Aaron, Harmon Killebrew, Willie Mays, and many others. Well, hi there, everyone. I'm Mark Scott. Today on Home Run Derby, Harmon Killebrew, winner of our last contest, will meet another slugging third baseman, this time from the National League, Ken Boyer. Let's meet them, shall we? Harmon, good seeing you again. Thank you, Mark. Kenny, welcome to Home Run Derby. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. You fellas have two things in common. You're both excellent third basemen, and you're both outstanding long ball hitters. Now, today, fellas, you're going to go for the big money. The winner will receive $2,000. The loser, $1,000. As an added bonus, any time either one of you should hit three consecutive home runs, you'll receive an additional $500. The fourth home run in a row is worth another $500. And each consecutive home run after that is worth another $1,000. You'll play nine innings, and you'll each get three outs per inning. Any ball not hit out of the ballpark is an out. You don't have to swing at every pitch. But if the ball is in the strike zone and you don't swing at it, that also constitutes an out. Head umpire Art Passarella will call the strikes. Any questions? No, I don't think so, Mark. I just hope I can keep hitting them. Well, we hope you can keep hitting them, too. Ken? No questions, Mark. I only hope I can hit one more than Harm does here today. We'll soon know the answer to that. Now, fellas, the pitchers are out there to throw the ball over the plate. They're batting practice pitchers, and they'll work every other inning. As last week's winner, Harmon, you'll act as the home club, which means you'll bat last. So that means you'll bat first, Ken. We're set to go. Good luck to both of you. Thank you. Good luck to you, Harm. Good luck to you, Ken. We'll start today's home run derby in just a moment. You're watching Classic Sports Network. around for the coach to give you the green light. Hustle on over to Classic Sports for the Diamond Collection. Every Tuesday night at 7, watch the greatest games in baseball history, from the regular season to the postseason. Gidry's 18 Ks against the Angels, Pete Rose eclipsing Cobb, and Mark the Bird Fidrich's flighty antics. See the Diamond Collection every Tuesday night at 7, only on Classic Sports Network. Take it from me, a lot of power hitters are streaky, but Harmon Killebrew was something else. One year he went through a dry spell that lasted seven weeks. Finally, he broke out of it by hitting 11 home runs in his last 11 games. The next year he went through a similar drought and came out of that one by smashing seven homers in six games. Now back to the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports. Batter up! Well, here we're all set to go, folks. The top half of the first inning, Kenny Boyer stepping into the batter's box. The top of the first inning, Harmon Killebrew here in the broadcast booth as we watch Kenny Boyer. That pitch did not count. Well, this is your second time as the defending champion. That's right, Mark. Feels pretty good, doesn't it? Sure does, but that Boyer looks kind of rough out there today. One down. It's a home run or nothing here on Home Run Derby. Harmon Killebrew defeated Mickey Mantle 9-8, and then in 10 innings defeated Rocky Calavito 5-4. Round foul. Two outs. No score the top half of the first. High pop-up in the straightaway center field, and that's all in the first inning for Kenny Boyer. No runs. And the score now going into the bottom half of the first inning. Kenny Boyer nothing. Harmon Killebrew coming up. Ken, you didn't get any there in the first inning. Getting started, I guess, is all important. They'll come easier after you get the first one. Well, I hope so. Got yes. shut out that time. Well, you got shut out. Harmon Killebrew walking up to the plate now as he's getting set to go the last half of the first inning. High fly ball going back deep in the left field. She's going, going, gone over the left field wall. And it's a run in for Harmon Killebrew. 
Out in front of Ken Boyer by a score of one to nothing. He whacked that one, didn't he? He sure did. I didn't think the ball was going for a minute, but after it got, uh, Mantle told me that uh, uh, when he hits one, it just keeps it going. He gets up there high one and it keeps going, and that's what that one did. Line drive. Two away. He's a strong boy. He's built strong. You're you're yeah. taller. How much do you weigh? I weigh about 200. Foul tip. Three out. And that's all here in the first inning. One run. And at the end of one inning of play, it's Harmon Killebrew one, Ken Boyer nothing. Well, Harmon, you're putting the pressure on him right early, aren't you? Well, I think that's the best thing to do, Mark, to get a good start. And, uh, get a good start and finish good, too. That's right. Well, Kenny's uh, coming up now, top half of the second inning. Harmon Killebrew out in front by a score of one to nothing. Boyer stands back from the plate a bit yeah, further than you that's do. That's right. He stands quite a bit farther back than I do. Fly ball into right field. And it is... One away. Not gone. One away here in the second. Two down. Ground ball. Two out. Top half of the second. Home run derby. Three out. Pop up foul out of play, and that's all in the second inning. Kenny Boyer goes down with no runs in the score at the end of an inning and a half of play. Harmon Killebrew one. Kenny Boyer nothing. Kenny Harmon and I were talking about your swing. You have a level swing. Can you describe Harmon's swing to us? Well, I think uh, Harm looks like he might uh, swing up at the ball just a little more than, than probably I do because uh, basically I think probably I try to hit the ball on the line. One out. Ground ball. It's not a bad one. That was a bad pitch, a little bit low. One out here, the bottom half of the second inning. Harmon Killebrew out in front by a score of one to nothing. Did you tell him to brush him back if he yeah, got out I got in front of you? Yeah, he's out in front. I gotta, I gotta get him out of there. <laughs> Foul ball. ball. We picked this ballpark, however, because it favors neither an American nor a National League player. It's uniform. It's uniform all the way. Two out, the bottom half of the second inning. Harmon Killebrew at the plate, out in front of Kenny Boyer by a score of one to nothing here on Home Run Derby. High fly ball into straightaway center field. This could go. It's a way back and Free out. hot. Way back for the wall for the out to retire the side. So at the end of two innings of play, the score. Harmon Killebrew, one. Kenny Boyer, nothing. Harm, you went for a couple of low pitches there in the second inning. <laughs> yes, I did, Mark. I thought I could lift those balls, but I believe they were a little too low for me. Do you generally like the pitch that low? Well, I think uh, I can hit a longer ball down low. Of course, uh, when pitchers don't have too much speed on them, it, it is pretty easy to hit the high pitch up. Well, here we go. Line drive, foul. One out. And there's one away. Kenny Boyer at the plate, trailing by one home run. Harmon Killebrew out in front, one to nothing in the top of the third. Line drive, two, two out. It's a home run or nothing here on Home Run Derby. Incidentally, the pitcher who throws the most home run balls will also receive a bonus. Boys trying to get the ball over the plate. High pop-up foul, and that's all, as Kenny Boyer, for the third consecutive inning, goes down. And the score at the end of two and a half innings of play, Harmon Killebrew won. Kenny Boyer, nothing. Kenny, that last one looked like your pitch. What happened? That was it, Mark. I got, got out front a little, popped it up. Well, that's the way she goes. You'll get going in just a couple of moments. Rocky Calavito last week had trouble getting started, but when he did get started, wow. Well, he... that's, that's right. A guy can get, get a couple going here and be all right. That first one's the toughest first one, one to get. Looks like it is. <laughs> Harmon Killebrew, the batter, crowds that plate and stands back deep in the batter's box. Line drive down the left field line, curving foul. What a way. Only time you get a chance to see the other league is during the All-Star game. That's right, and we've seen him in the All-Star game this year in Pittsburgh. Harmon Killebrew leading by a score of one to nothing, batting in the bottom of the third. High pop-up. That's two down. That'll be two out. The way he swung at that one, that looked like his, too. Looked like his pitch. Just a bit high. Well, he's crowding that plate looking for that inside one. I imagine it's 
really hard to take that inside one because that's the one he wants. Three out. Ground ball. And that's all. So at the end of three innings of play, the score, Harmon Killebrew won and Ken Boyer nothing. Now let's take time out for a moment. Which ballpark was the site for Home Run Derby? Find out the answer from Cleveland Indian slugger Albert Bell when we return to the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports Network. What lower round draft pick just might stun the NBA by becoming his team's leading rebounder this year? The Sporting News knows. Do you? What hot goalie will dominate NHL offenses to power his team to a great season? The Sporting News knows. Do you? What surprising rookie sensation could send his team soaring into the Super Bowl? The Sporting News knows, and you can too, when you call now to claim your no-cost four-issue Sporting News mini-subscription. Plus, reserve these great sports binoculars free. When it comes to the NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball, and the NHL, nobody keeps you in the know quite like the Sporting News. What GM's blockbuster trades will turn his pretenders into pennant contenders next season? The Sporting News knows, and now you will too. Call now for your no-cost four-issue Sporting News mini-subscription. If you like it, get 24 more issues, 28 in all, for four easy payments of just $4.99. Plus, get these great binoculars free with your paid subscription. Call now. Think you're ready to hang with the legends of the NBA? Then celebrate the NBA at 50 on Classic Sports. From Mike and to Michael, from Irving to Irvin. Classic Sports is counting down the greatest games in the history of the NBA. Celebrate the Big 5-0. Watch the NBA Top 50 games every Monday night and every Thursday night only on Classic Sports. Amazing. Awesome. 63 for Jordan. A new NBA record. Jordan's heroics push the Celtics into double overtime. Watch the Bulls battle the Celtics. Monday at 8.30 Eastern only on Classic Sports Network. All 26 home run derbies were filmed at Wrigley Field in Los Angeles. The ballpark was built in 1925 for minor league baseball, but in 1961 it became the temporary home of the newly found California Angels. Now back to the home run derby marathon on Classic Sports. Back to home run derby and the top of the fourth inning. Harmon, this looks like a repeat of last week when you led Rocky Calavito by a score of one to nothing at the end of three. Well, of course, uh, that one run uh, doesn't look too sure there. I'm afraid Ken's going to break out any minute here. One home run will tie it up here. Ground ball, one out. One away. There, there she goes. Goodbye. Hit that one real good. Hit that one real good is right. It's all tied up at one to one. Ground ball. Two out. Two away. Line drive into center field. And it's caught out there for the out. Three outs. Kenny Boyer picked up a home run in the top half of the fourth inning. And now at the end of three and a half innings of play, it's Ken Boyer one, Harmon Killebrew one. Well, Ken, you finally got that first one. Well, well, I got one, but I should have hit another one. I had one to hit there. Here's Harmon Killebrew stepping in the last half of the fourth inning. Our contest all tied up at one to one. Killebrew the killer. High pop up. What a one. That would have been a home run in an elevator shaft, I think. Pitch does not count. This ballpark has been selected because it favors neither an American or a National League player. The fences are of equal distance with no advantage to a right or a left handed hitter. Two down. Ground ball, two out. Harmon Killebrew up. He looks imposing up there. Looks mean. It's all business. Let me shoot up all. He's all business. Sure is. Harmon's one of the few bonus players who have really made good. We're all tied up one to one. Two out the last half of the fourth inning. Harmon Killebrew the batter. Killebrew's got that broad back like Mantle, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Line drive, and that's all. Three outs. Three out in the fourth inning, and the score at the end of four innings complete. Harmon Killebrew won. Ken Boyer won. To uh, be back next week, I think you better get busy. I'm going to have to, Mark, if I'm going to be back next week. Top of the fifth, Ken Boyer got his home run in the fourth inning. Harmon Killebrew had his in the first. One out. Line drive. That would be a good base hit in a ball game. 
One out of the fifth inning. Two down. Up a foul. Two away. That was a pretty good pitch to hit, wasn't it? Yeah. Just missed that ball. One one tie. Top half of the fifth inning, nearing the midway point of our home run derby contest. Ground ball, foul, and that's all. So Kenny Boyer goes down in the top half of the fifth inning, and the score at the midway point, Ken Boyer won, Harmon Killebrew won. What's happening, Ken? Ah, boy, I can't get a hold of one. What's wrong? Well, a you... little split suck of timing, I guess, you need. High fly ball deep to left. It is curving. Fair ball! It hit on top of the wall, bounced over for a home run. It's a flagpole, at least no doubt, does it? Leaves no doubt when it hit the flagpole. So it's a two to one ball game now with Killebrew out in front. Foul ball. One down. There's one out. Gee, I thought that ball was going to curve foul. Play! That's a strike call. Two Come outs. On. Pitch must have been on the inside corner. Foul ball out of play, Three and out. that's all in the fifth inning. But Harmon Killebrew picks up a home run. And now at the end of five innings complete, Killebrew two, Boyer one. Well, Harmon, congratulations. Did you plan that one that way? <laughs> no, Mark, I really thought that ball was going to be foul. at the uh, foul pole and then the top of the fence and went on over. Pretty lucky on that shot. High fly ball in the straightaway left field. And there's one away. One down. Any ball not hit out of the ballpark in fair territory is an out. No breeze at all now. When we started, there was a slight breeze coming in. That's right, uh, Mark. The flag is very still. There's one. There she goes. Goodbye. Over the wall for a home run to tie it up at two and two. High fly ball into right center. It'll be an out. Two out. Two away now in the sixth inning. We're all tied up, fans. Two to two. Harmon Killebrew against Kenny Boyer. Line drive shot, belted into left field, but it goes for an out here on Home Run Derby. And that's all for Ken Boyer in the sixth inning, and the score going into the bottom half of the sixth. Boyer two, Killebrew two. Well, Kenny, you drilled one then. Well, I got a hold on, finally. It was just a line drive shot right over the wall. Here's Harmon Killebrew. High fly ball way back. It may be fair, it may be foul. It's a... Foul ball! Foul ball over the left field wall for an out. Ground ball. That's two down. Two away. Missing those kind make you say words you're not supposed to say. Three out. Ground foul, and that's all. And in the sixth inning, Harmon Killebrew belted one high and deep but foul, but did not score a home run in the score. At the end of six innings complete, Harmon Killebrew two, Ken Boyer two. Now let's take time out for a moment. Ken Boyer's brother was also a major leaguer. Combined, they hit 444 home runs. Only the Aaron and DiMaggio brothers hit more. Was Ken Boyer's brother's name A, Spike, B, Cleet, or C, none of the above? Stay tuned to the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports Network. What are people saying about Classic Sports Network? Three words. It's about time. Four, three, two, Michael fires. Yeah! It's about the time Hank broke the Babe's record. It's gone. It's 7:15. Or the time Mary Lou was perfect. Oh, Classic Sports Network, the only network that brings you the greatest sports stories and personalities of all time, all the time. What would you pay to look like a million dollars? Time Life presents The Firm, the exercise videos that are making firm believers out of people. I have shape and definition in my waist, and my butt looks like a 19-year-old's after three kids. Other tapes are a waste of money. The only tapes that work on the market today are The Firm tapes. Aerobics will burn fat, but the combination of weights and aerobics can burn three times more fat. Only The Firm combines weights with aerobics in every exercise. The Firm guarantees visible results in 10 sessions. They said, give us 10 tries and we'll make a difference. It really did. Immediately I started seeing results. Call now for Volume 1 of The Firm for just $9.99 and get the 20 questions about fitness video free. Every few weeks, receive a new Firm video, so call now. It's a whole new body. The Firm tapes give you a whole new body. 
Tour to the firm and receive your free 20 questions about fitness video. Call 1-800-839-4433 or send 999 plus 349 shipping and handling to the firm. P.O. Box 910, Department 44, Gardnerville, Nevada, 89410. I think a quarterback has got to have an arrogant quality about him because he's going to get shot at by so many people. And if he's paranoid, then then he, uh, he'll he never make it. I never believed in turning the other cheek. I feel that off the field, that you know, after you've played a game with someone and competed as hard as you could against them, uh, you can be as nice as you want to with them. But on that field, he's your enemy. When you work hard at something and you accomplish the uh, the goal, which is, is to win the biggest game and, and, and to play well to do it, it it's, it's a feeling that stay, it still stays with me. I still remember that first Super Bowl and it, it still brings back great feelings. Being the leader, I guess, being the, the leader and in total charge of everything that's happening on that football field from an offensive standpoint was my responsibility and, and it was fun. Ken Boyer's brother's name is Cleet making the correct answer B. Welcome back to the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports Network. Back to Home Run Derby and the top of the seventh inning. Harmon, you're looking for that foul pole shot again. Gosh, I'm just out in front too much, Mark. The ball was well tagged, but pulled just a bit too much. That's right, about four or five feet. Here's Kenny Boyer settling into the batter's box, top half of the seventh inning. All tied up at two to two. Pitch does not count. The winner of this home run derby will face another outstanding major league slugger next week on Home Run Derby. One out. Ground ball, one away. Mickey Mantle won three contests in a row. You've won two, going for your third one here to tie his record. Well, that third one is pretty tough, Mark. High pop-up. Two away. Two out. You beat Mantle in the Thriller 9-8. Had to come from behind to do it. That's right. Ground ball, and that's all for Boyer in the seventh inning. And the score going on to the bottom half of the seventh inning is Kenny Boyer, two, Harmon Killebrew, two. Ken, have you patterned your batting style after any one individual? No, I, I've tried not to. Uh, uh, I've, I've altered my stance uh, quite a bit since I first come up, but I haven't tried to copy anybody in particular, no. Last half of the seventh inning, all tied up at two to two. Ground ball. What a word. One out. Harmon Killebrew won two contests in a row, defeating Mickey Mantle 9-8, and in 10 innings, defeated Rocky Calavito 6-5. Two outs. Fair ball down into the corner for an out. That's half a home run. It's a that double. Be a double. We can't, we can't give halves. No, thank goodness. Three outs. Foul ball, and that's all she wrote in the bottom half of the seventh inning. And the score at the end of seven complete, Harmon Killebrew two, Ken Boyer two. Harmon, in order to win three in a row, I think you better just get busy. Yes, I just can't seem to get loosened up, Mark. Well, you will. You will. Here's Kenny Boyer stepping in. Top half of the eighth inning, only two more innings to go. Of course, if the game should wind up in a tie, we go into extra innings just as in a regular ball game. Two-two ball game. High pop-up. One out. Another big league pop-up. Big league pop-up. One out of the eighth. There's a real one there. Yeah. Way up. Look out. Two away. Well, it missed us. Just missed us. That's two out. Line drive into left field. It is. Three out. Up against the wall, and it goes for an out. And that's all for Ken Boyer in the eighth inning. The score, Kenny Boyer, two. Harmon Killebrew, two. Kenny, you had pop-up-itis there. Well, I had a couple of good pitches to hit, too. The one you hit up against the wall uh, for your last out was well tagged, but not quite high enough. Well, I needed some of the height I had on those two. I popped up. 
Here's Harmon Killebrew, the last half of the eighth inning. We're all tied up, fans, at two to two. We're coming right down to the wire. Line drive. One out. That drives in runs. Drives in runs, but no runs on home run derby. One home run here can mean the difference of $1,000. 2000 to the winner, 1000 to the loser. Two to two, the last half of the eighth. Harmon Killebrew, the batter. Killebrew hit his home runs in the first and the fifth inning. Kenny Boyer got one in the fourth and one in the sixth. Foul ball, two out. Two away. The winner of this contest will meet a pretty fair country hitter by the name of Henry Aaron. Tolerable. Just tolerable. Just tolerable. I've heard some ball players say that they'd pay their way into a ballpark just to watch Henry hit. I would, if I was a fan. High fly ball. Shallow left field. Three outs. And that's all in the eighth inning. And at the end of eight innings of play, it's Kenny Boyer two, Harmon Killebrew two. Well, Harmon, as we go to the top half of the ninth inning, that's the advantage of acting as the home club. No matter what Kenny does here in the ninth, you got another whack at it. I hope it's an advantage, Mark. Kenny Boyer stepping in the top half of the ninth inning. We're all tied up at two to two. The tension mounts. Each pitch is so important now to each one of these ball players. Ground ball. One down. One away in the top half of the ninth inning. Kenny Boyer up. Tied up ball game at two to two. Line drive in the left field. Two down. Taken on the hop. High fly ball way back. He is a fair ball owner for a home run, and Ken Boyer goes out in front by a score of three to two. Okay, here. Well, that makes it tough to come back, Mark. Okay. All right. That one hit him, but he said okay. Two out, top half of the ninth inning. Kenny Boyer up with a home run here with two away. He takes the lead over Harmon Killebrew. Three home runs to two. High fly ball into the left field. It's in the ballpark, and that's all for Kenny Boyer. But he picked up a home run in the top half of the ninth inning. And coming now to the last half of the ninth inning, it's Ken Boyer three, Harmon Killebrew two. Well, Kenny, you've got the pressure now on Harmon. Well, <laughs> it looked like the pressure's on me. I walked out of there after I hit one. Well, uh, did you think that ball might have been foul? No, I tell you the truth, a man gets a little nervous in these things. I don't know, I really don't know what I was thinking about, but uh, I guess I'm human. <laughs> I guess you are, and you're out in front by a score of three to two. The last half of the ninth inning, Harmon Killebrew, who's won two contests in a row, defeating Mickey Mantle and Rocky Calavito, is down by one. Last week's winner always bats last. Here's Killebrew, the last half of the ninth inning. One away. Ground ball, one out. Looked like he was aiming for the foul line umpire that time. You don't mind if I sit there with my fingers crossed, do you? No, that's all right. Wonder what's going through Harm's mind right now. I imagine the same thing is going through mine. That's it out. Two out. Foul ball. If you don't mind, I think I'll cross a few more fingers. <laughs> We're right down to the end. Three to two. Kenny Boyer out in front. Harmon Killebrew at bat. Last half of the ninth inning. Two out. Only one more to go. He'll battle here right down to the end. Yes, he will. I can see he's up for our meaning business. Ground foul, and that's yeah. all. And Kenny Boyer wins it as Harmon Killebrew comes up empty in the last half of the ninth inning. And Kenny Boyer defeats Harmon Killebrew by a score of three to two. We'll be back to meet our ball players in just a moment. We'll return in a moment to the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports Network. The hum of the saw, the wail of the drill, the rhythm of the plane. If you love the music of woodworking, then listen to what you get in this free TV offer. Introducing 101 Shop Tips for Woodworkers. It's filled with time-saving secrets from the pros, like a jig for routing evenly spaced dados, the trick to straightening out uneven edges, how to keep lacquers and thinners from splashing when closing the can, 
you'll discover clever shopmate jigs and tips that'll save you years in shop time. It's all in one handy resource and you get it. Stop the music. Free. It's yours free when you order cabinet making the first volume in the art of woodworking for only $9.99. Packed with hundreds of full-color photos and illustrations, Cabinet Making shows you how to master every cabinetry skill and get picture-perfect results. At a glance, you'll learn the secrets of frame and panel assembly, rock-solid joinery, adding decorative touches like molding. You can preview future volumes with absolutely no commitment to buy. Call now and for less than 10 bucks, you'll get Cabinet Making plus your free copy of 101 Shop Tips for Woodworkers. And there's more. Use your credit card and get this bonus video, Shop Secrets from Master Craftsman, free. This exclusive video gives you a wealth of expert advice and trade secrets from four master woodworkers. So call now to order cabinet making for just $9.99 and get 101 shop tips free. Use your credit card and get your free Shop Secrets video. If you love the sound of woodworking, then getting all this for less than 10 bucks is music to your ears. Call now. To order, call 1-800-571-6644. Ask for cabinet making for just $9.99 plus $4.25 shipping and handling and receive your free 101 shop tips. To get your free shop secrets video, have your credit card ready. That's 1-800-571-6644. Call now. Let's rejoin host Mark Scott for the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports Network. Well, Harmon, you won two in a row before running into Kenny Boyer, and then you lost a tough one today. But here's our check for $1,000, and that makes a total of $5,000 that you've won on Home Run Derby. And we'll be looking forward to seeing you again very soon. Thank you, Mark. I'm looking forward to coming back. Good luck, Ken. Thank you, Harmon. Well, Kenny, you've earned the distinction of becoming the first National Leaguer to have won a contest on Home Run Derby. You've also earned $2,000, and our congratulations. Your next opponent will be a fellow National Leaguer by the name of Hammerin' Hank Aaron. Know him? I know him well. He will be tough. Well, he will, and you'll be up to it. Congratulations and good luck to you. Thank you. Join us at home plate next time when Ken Boyer will meet Hank Aaron in another exciting contest on Home Run Derby. Home Run Derby is produced with multiple cameras. The players' interviews being recorded simultaneously with the contest.